If you're lucky enough to own a grandfather's clock, or an old clock which has a pendulum in it, and is a proper clockwork mechanism in it, whether it's either by weights or by a spring, then you're very lucky. The sound of a grandfather's clock, an old one like this, throbbing backwards and forwards in your hall or wherever you have it working, is a very reassuring sound and gives a very satisfying feel to the building. My wristwatch is a chronograph and keeps perfect time but this doesn't have a pendulum in it so whether your clock's old or new if it has a pendulum then there is an easy way to adjust it. You may find that although your clock's in good working order it may be running too fast or too slow and as long as you have an accurate clock you can adjust these quite easily to go almost to perfect timekeeping and this video shows you how to do that. I know that this clock is 150 years old or thereabouts because like a well maintained car it has a part service history which is inside the door at the front and if we look at the top of this door you can see there are chalk marks of people who have kept us a record of the service, the earliest one being 1876. So it was made some years before that. Good timekeeping on any old clock, if it has a pendulum, is the rate with which the pendulum swings back and forth. On this clock we can see that by the second hand which is in the in, uh, fixed at the top of the main dial. This is a much earlier clock dating from about 1700. You'll see that it's only got one hand. The minute hand had yet to be invented and fixed onto these clocks. So this shows, just shows the hours of the day. This clock, being very old, was never built with the casing and is fixed to the wall. And this therefore allows us to see the escapement and how it works and how it controls the time, or the accuracy of time that this clock gives, and also powers the pendulum. The pendulum on most old clocks from years ago, are all built in much the same way. And if we look at this one, we can see an adjustment on it. Underneath the weight of the, at the bottom of the pendulum is a nut onto a screw. And by turning this screw back and forth, we can move the weight up and down uh, on the pendulum and therefore altering how accurate the clock tells us the time is. On this grandfather's clock, the pendulum is built in exactly the same way. Underneath the weight at the bottom of the uh, pendulum is a small screw. If we undo this screw very, very slightly, it will lower the weight of the pendulum and the pendulum itself will therefore work slower because it's heavier. If we do it the other way, by screwing the, uh, turning the screw upwards, it will turn the weight upwards and it will make the clock work slightly faster. So that's how we adjust it. If your clock's going too fast, lengthen the weight on the, on the pendulum. If it's going too slow, turn it up and make it slightly lighter. Only very, very small amounts of movement on these screws uh, will alter the time. So if you turn the screw probably one turn it will alter the, term, the time, either fast or slower, depending which way you turn it. And that will give you probably a, an alteration of about 5 minutes on 24 hours. Good luck. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you.